Good morning. This is Bobby Dupre with the Bobby Dupre Show presented to you each Thursday morning at 7 a.m. And of course, it replays in its entirety uh, at 3 p.m. on Sunday afternoon. And of course, uh, y'all kind of fuss a little bit about that time because uh, generally the Saints uh, game is on or NASCAR race cars are, are running. And uh, But uh, y'all still watch it, so we're glad to hear from you. And uh, if we could ever change it, we'd change it. I guess 4 o'clock would probably be a little bit better. Yeah, three. the Saints seem to be the early game. Yeah, the, the Saints usually play in the early game. That, and that's what happened this past week. On Monday, they played at 3 o'clock, but the, the game was at 7.30. So, <laughs> so the problem was they was not awake in time oh, for that game. They had a had a bad game. Bad game. Th then that that was just the beginning of their troubles. The airplane had the mechanical problems. The, the airplane went eight yards and then it stalled, <laughs> just, just like Dolphins had done all night. <laughs> uh, kind of like that yellow line. Uh, LSU couldn't cross couldn't the cross yellow it. line to come Same home thing. to Baton Rouge uh, the last time mm -hmm. they played in the national uh, championship mm -hmm. game. But uh, on the, the serious side uh, about the Saints, that, that was really a, a pitiful game. It, it's an awakening, but the other team is hot. I mean, they are hot. They, they, are. they knew they would probably lose, that they were not favored, but I think they thought they would make a better showing, and the other team was just ready. I mean, and, and, and the fans were ready, and, and everybody. So, uh, and they were outside. That's not good. Cold they're weather. Not, they're not used to that. Mm -mm. They, they've been they're like it hot inside. <laughs> inside. Hot with the air conditioner running. I'm like that too, though. I'm, I'm better when it's hot than I'm inside the air conditioner. <laughs> uh, and then it had a little light uh, mist. It wasn't raining. Mason it was just just the mist. And Th uh, thank, but the other quarterback didn't have that problem. It was dry when he went through. He's good. He's Little young good. man. Uh, we, yeah. Russell uh, or Wilson. Wilson. Mm -hmm. We're gonna hear that name if you know, unless something would occur to him, either through accident or he gets involved with some of these high-powered uh, drugs they take today to better their yeah. as long as he stays clean. image. Uh, and, and he's a little more mature. You know, he went to one school, graduated. And he went to graduate school at another school and played football at both colleges. So he's got some maturity. He's got some good education. He's got a good, strong family background. Uh, you know, those things go a long ways. A lot of these young men come from such a rough, rough background. Like, like our, our friend, the Honey Badger, uh, Tyron Matthew, uh, growing up, had a rough growing up yeah. uh, environment. And so he kind of slipped. But now... He's in a might be rookie of the year. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, but he's got that good stability. The Peterson family, Patrick Peterson, that plays with them, who played at LSU with them, and, and his parents, very, very active and helped keep him, you know, in in that that good, strong environment. So. I didn't know what, you know, what was the cause, but he has shaped his life up. Oh, it, it, you know, and, and it was like that when he got to LSU. He was very clean until he fell off the the rail. Wrong, wrong crowd. Wrong crowd. But wrong Peterson crowd. had graduated. At that point, you see, I think Peterson and he are very, very close. I think Peterson's the guy that tells him to, to follow the straight line. I want to tell everybody how come uh, I look so nice today. Oh yeah, we. Uh, I just dress up. Yeah, uh, today, uh, you know, normally we start. Uh, we we say we start taping about 9:30, but it's actually about 10 generally when we start. Uh, but today we're starting right now, and what time is it? It uh, must be almost one o'clock. Almost one o'clock uh, today, and, and we are doing it on Wednesday. But uh, today is that special day every year that we uh, sponsor and uh, hold the uh, Santa breakfast for the CP Clinic, uh, the big fundraiser that uh, it looks like you all might have uh, outdone yourselves again this year. I know the attendance was the best we've ever had. Yeah, and, and we don't know the final numbers yet, but it, 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 looks, it looks pretty good. Looks good. So we just want to ahead of time thank all of you. Mm -hmm. And he didn't get a chance to go home. I, I went home and took my Santa outfit. Uh, it it gets a little too warm. It and it's, if you're gonna wear it, then you have to zip it all the way up. And it it, it you ride in a sleigh breathe. to the country club at that high altitude with the rain there. You got <laughs> yeah. you know you gotta be warm. Yeah. It's not the same when you're on the ground inside. You know? <laughs> but we had we had an incredible crowd. We had uh, elected dignitaries. We had uh, the, the high sheriff Bobby Guidros. We had chief of police Perry Gallo. Uh, we had uh, Earl Taylor, district attorney. We had uh, uh, Judge. Uh, 
Ellis. Judge uh, Ellis Daigle, Daigle was there. Ron Duplichan. Uh, Ron Duplichan. Clerk Judge, of Court. Judge uh, Jim Daugherty, uh, Charlie Jagno with the clerk's office, uh, Jude Morrow with 911, a lot of parish employees. Uh, and that, that, that's the political side. Then we had a whole bunch of people with the Kiwanis. Uh, the Rotary was there. We had uh, folks with uh, with uh, St. Landry Church were there. Uh, Queen of Angels Church. Uh, LAC group. LAC had a, group, a, very active. Yeah. Uh, we had Keith Abair and Don Stanford from the little group on Friday mornings with the Bible study. So we had we had everybody. We had we had charity folks. We had political folks. We had business people. What, what's, Pat Morrow. What's what's the name? Uh, yeah, a, a former judge. A former you know. judge. Yeah, former An judge. An attorney. A litigator. He yeah. argues. Uh, what did I want to ask you? I don't know. Greg um, Doucette, Jason Mesh, I saw yeah, those two boys yeah, there, yeah. My, good, my good friends. Uh, we had community coffee there with uh, Travis Richard. Uh, good morning to his daddy, Mr. Lubert. Yep, Mr. Lubert watches we, every program. We had uh, uh, Chef Ernest Prejean with Prejean's Restaurant. We had uh, Chef Owner Jason Hugay with Steamboat Warehouse. We had uh, Joey Quibido with Piggly Wiggly. Kevin was out of town. I think he was hunting ducks, but he made sure that everything was sent and taken care of as well. We had Mitchell Olivier with uh, St. Landry Crawfish. You know, he and his wife Kim always do a good job helping us each year. Brought the Champagne Fountain this year. We had Champagne Fountain. That's a pretty good breakfast. Uh, we had uh, Ray Bello with Ray's Catering. We had uh, Patsy Fry and Annette Briscoe with uh, Billy, Billy's, Fries. Billy Fry's Buddha. Yeah. We had um, Beth, uh, Swallow. Beth Swallow with Swallow's oh, Dinner Club. Club. We had Troy Young representing the Young family. Oh. Uh, Did you see him? The, uh, the Country Club. That guy. In 30 minutes after everybody had eaten breakfast, he was tearing, you know, we call it tearing down. He'll grab a table with each hand. And, and, pick him up, I mean. And, and Harry and Matthew were there helping him. That's and, right, Harry, and, Gabriel, and, and Matthew. In 30 minutes, it now, was now he, clean. He would bulldog, I mean, he would rodeo. He, I'm sure he rodeo. I mean, that, uh, I know him as a horse trainer. But he's a big old boy. I, I didn't know him when he was growing up. I, I knew of him. Right. Uh, but, uh, boy, he could, he could tackle a bull I'm, right I'm now. In, I'm in pretty good shape. I can grab a table pretty easy, okay? But I can't grab a table with each hand. And I mean, you grab a table with each hand and walk, walk like it's nothing. I'm like, man, that boy's solid. Oh, no, he, he is solid. And uh, just so dedicated. He, he mm -hmm. already said, I'm looking forward to next year. You know, and this is our 10th annual. Uh, we were talking about today. David Link with OPAC was talking. Been uh, helping us every year. Every year. Every you know, year. The, the, the company's active and, and made the comment. He says, you know, he says, over 40,000 each year. Some years you've done better. Some years you've done lower. And that he said, you realize after 10 years, half a million dollars that this one event has generated for the yeah. uh, cerebral palsy That's clinic. Correct. So half a million dollars so far. This year, we're, uh, we'll are we have a good number. I think we're going to hit it. If we can get to 50, Santa got to cut another $5,000 $5, check. Another $5,000 check. And I think uh, that this year... I'm I'm squeezing him hard. It's yeah, y'all y'all working against close. me. Oh. But I'm I'd be excited to give that five thousand. Oh, that, that's dollars. the best that's the best five you'll ever yep. spend. Yep. That's, that's the that's best. That's correct. So if you can help us, P.O. Box 70, Opelousas, Louisiana, Breakfast with Santa. Even though the breakfast is over, our fundraising season is going to go on. We're going to go on into the March, springtime. March 30th. So we need your help. Please help us. If you can come up with some money, if if my our viewers can come up with some money. Uh, Ten dollar checks, hundred dollar checks. I can cash. I can cash a thousand dollar check. I think the bank will let me cash whatever <laughs> y'all got. One hundred percent of your money goes to therapy. It's not going to pay the light bill at the clinic. It's not going to pay the light bill at the breakfast. It's going to go one hundred percent to helping these kids. And we negotiate our therapy bill down to twenty five dollars a half hour. Now there ain't no doctor in the world. Anybody else can see for twenty five dollars a half hour. We get it down that low. So your twenty five dollars buys a half hour worth of therapies. Please help us. Good, good sales How about pitch. some sponsors? Yep, you better. We'll hit some well, of our they, sponsors. They wouldn't mind today. Yeah, we... today I'm giving them some room, but I'm going to hit the ones that helped us. Steamboat Warehouse, chef owner Jason Hugie, our head chef of this big project. The food is excellent at Steamboat Warehouse, i got to tell you. You went last night, I last think, night, and, 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 and we have got a, a bite. picture somewhere. Uh, uh, Steamboat Warehouse with great seafood, great Louisiana products. Uh, you can go there for uh, everything from your shrimp to your uh, catfish to your good steaks, great wine selection. Salmon. Ice cold beer, tuna. salmon. Have that adult libation out there on the back wharf. How about this photo right here? Got it. All right, good. And that's uh, you and Miss Vicky. That right, and then uh, 
Carla and uh, Noel. Uh, Noel is, Bunal is on, all the way on the right. Uh, Carla is a Diaz, and she's from Chile. And uh, from Chile, really? we, we had just met her uh, prior to her leaving for about five weeks to visit her parents. That's not Chile's and Karen Crow, that's the real mm, Chile. No, no, the, that's the country. The country of the Chile. The country. Uh, uh -huh. I, I forgot to ask her how many hours, but I'm sure it's a pretty good uh, mm -hmm. airplane mm -hmm. ride. I would but, think so. Uh, she's glad to be, I think uh, she's glad to be home over here. Over here. Yeah, I think uh, she likes the New Orleans area. And uh, she's a, a personal trainer, is. Oh, what, really? Yeah. Well, I saw Noel had slimmed down quite yeah. a bit. Uh, she's you keeping commented, him in shape. Yeah, well, oh, I, yeah. I, I was laughing while you were saying and that. That was a deal. Yeah, she, uh, mm. she was. She was smiling. She was enjoying well, you complimenting her work. I'm, you I'm see? helping her out. You helping see? her out. And how about another one here, Piggly Wiggly? We talk about Piggly Wiggly. Look, Joey Quibido, You know that he and uh, Jason both uh, host uh, the show here on What's Cooking here on KDCG. Joey is our logistics man. Um, uh, you know. Uh, Jason is the guy in the kitchen that he's the orchestrator making the whole thing happen but logistics are bringing all the plates all the drinks and all that figuring how much we need we need a blender we need this we need that Joey Quibito does a tremendous job at Piggly Wiggly also works at Don Seafood downtown in Lafayette. I was Pierre. surprised you, you said that last week 500 and something people he served on Thanksgiving he told me I mean, he's good. He's he just very, very good and does catering at Piggly Wiggly. If you need catering type work, go to Piggly Wiggly. They'll help you out there as well. I went this past weekend. I picked up a bunch of uh, cube beef. Can you imagine some, the, the type, the we quality got some talent. Of, of talent we, got some we have talent when taking, we do this can, thing? We Chef Ernest Prejean with Prejeans. I don't know if I mentioned him ribbon earlier. Ribbon winning uh, just I mean, everywhere you know, he, he goes. He got medals. He, he got yeah. trophies in that case. I mean, all these guys are just, you know, But first, he just first works. Class. He doesn't talk. He doesn't say much. Uh, when I talk to him, he goes, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. He just knocks uh -huh. it out. Nah, gets it done. Yeah. So anyway, Piggly Wiggly, go by. I got all kind of good stuff, a good beef stew this past weekend. Really had a good time uh, cooking all that together. I got some squash, some fresh squash that I grilled. Very good stuff. Go by your local Piggly Wiggly locations, two in Opelousas and one in Simsport. And what else? How about this? One more sponsor. Yeah, a Our brand newest sponsor, newest one. Don Leger Appraisal. We'll talk about Don Leger. Let's see if we can show a photo too. Don Leger Appraisal, all about real estate appraisal. This is Don whenever he was a anchor at CNN. You know? <laughs> uh, Don, Don actually just got back from CNN. He went uh, toward the, the studio over there. He sent us a picture. He said, you need a new picture. I mean, here, here's the picture. The daughter works there, if I, I the, recall. The, yeah, the, the family's connected with it. And I got a picture of the daughter here, Sarah, with her husband, Robert, and the baby, Leighton. Uh, good, good folks. Um, what Don does, Don Leger, it's appraisal service. So if you're looking for good real estate type appraisal, Don has been in the business over 30 years. You'll know his, his grandfather was uh, Mr. Johnny Wilson, and you know uh, his mother was Shirley Wilson Leger. Is Shirley. Yeah, yeah, it is Shirley Wilson Leger. So it's, it's you know, Long-time real estate folks knows Opelousas knows area, Opelousas. Acadiana, and, and, and other, Acadiana. Another time, you know, I got a good friend of mine who owns some property, and from time to time, when he wants to get the property looked at, he wants it confidential. You know, maybe he's thinking about doing something. He doesn't want, you know, exactly. keep it to yourself. Yep. So Don can go by, get you that confidential appraisal, get you those numbers that you need for your banker, for just your, your own interest that, you know, maybe, maybe you think. Maybe trying to buy out a partner. Or, correct, or, correct. Or, or settle in a divorce. That's right. And all that, those, that happens. Yeah, that all happens. that, you, you want somebody that can go out That and you can trust, but has job. the experience and has been around this area. St. Landry, Lafayette, St. Martin, Acadia, Evangeline, Iberian, Vermilion Parishes. I sold that job from the Palace Cafe. There you go. That's when you ran into <laughs> yep, it. Yep, that's right. We're going to see you folks on the other side of One Minute.